So in the short video, I am going to tell you what are the distractions a student faces while preparing for gate exam and what is the solution. Solution also I will tell you. Now the first distraction the student faces is he is not able to cope up with the regulation. One day he will he or she will study very nicely and the next day again back to zero wasting all time. So and it happens quite a bit of students basically that they are not able to maintain regulation. So in let us say 30 days a month effectively they are studying only 10 days, 20 days they are wasting. So now what is the solution? Give authority to some superior to control you, either your mother or father or elder sister or elder brother. You make a schedule that I will get up 5 o'clock morning and I will sleep at let us say 10 o'clock or 10.30 in the evening. 5 o'clock I will get up and such and such time I will study these things. So if you are not able to maintain your schedule, your sister or your mother, they will tell you, oh, you, uh, you get up, get up. So you give authority and don't become angry with those uh, family members because they are helping you to regulate you. So of course you have to, because you have to understand that your family, uh, family loves you and based on that love, you give authority to some superior to control you. You get up, get up, get up, follow the schedule. So that works because whatever I'm speaking uh, in this short video, it is based on my 25 years of experience in teaching to the gate people. So that is number one, give authority to some superior in the family. Or if you are staying in the hostel, your friend, and don't get angry with your friend, <laughs> otherwise next day he will not get you, make you get up. Okay. Now second problem that the distraction the student faces, a student has to attempt a series. And it is start with September or August or September in uh, all the institutions. And before gate exam, at least 20 to 25 tests a student is giving. And consistently, the student no, is not able to score well. And his friend is able to score well. <coughs> so now, a student is getting demotivated. Oh, I am not getting good marks. Maybe gate is not for me. Getting frustrated and wasting one day at least. Again, one has slept for sufficient. Again, he got, oh, I have wasted my time. Again, I have to study for the second test. So that's a, one of the major destruction. One is comparing with other friends. Because although we call uh, two people friend, but there is no love. When other first person grows, other, uh, I mean the friend feels envious. It's a very rare case that the friend grows, a true friend is feeling happy. It's a very rare phenomena. So what is the solution? Do some spiritual activity, whatever religion you follow. If you are Muslim, offer namaz in the morning. If you are a Hindu, at least half an hour do bhajan in the morning. Christian, Bible, at least some kind of spiritual activity should be followed. But that is spiritual activity by which you are not becoming envious towards other religion. Every religion teaches harmony. So now, because I, I can quote from Bhagavad Gita, third chapter 30 the sloka, what it says, Mai sarvani karmani sanyasya dhyatma matpara nirashi niramo bhutva yudhvasva vigata jurah. Mai sarvani karmani you do everything for me, I will take care of. So, you should study, you should attempt test series, you should appear in the exam for God's sake. If the good result come, give it to him. If the bad result come, that also give it to him. Give, do all, all your things to please the Supreme Lord. And I bet you, all this demotivation will go away and naturally, you will perform better. So this is the major destruction and the only solution is the spiritual way you can, you can tackle this solution. You can tackle this problem. And it works. I bet you last 25 years I'm guiding students, it works. Now the third 
and the most important distraction for the student is the mind problems. Suppose you are getting bored from study, you go out in the market or in the hostel, you go to some tea stall and you are watching <laughs> opposite sex or something else and getting a lot of time wasted. It's a, I know there is a mind problem. One is trying to you know, enjoy independent of the God. So, how to control this? Because hours are hours goes, because the, in North India, there is a name. South India also, there is some name for this thing. Uh, uh, two, three friends are chit-chatting and, and talking about others. And hours are passing without any conclusion and time, are, time is getting wasted. So, now how to stop this thing? The same solution. Because when you surrender to God, in the Bhagavad Gita, there is another sloka. Sarvasya chaham hirdasanne vishto matta ismrati jnana apohanam cha. Knowledge, everything comes from God. And then indriyana manashasmi, this mana, the intelligence and the mind is the energy of God. You cannot control it. Because there are a lot of seminars, you can see over the YouTube or physical or uh, online, art of mind control. You cannot control the mind. Such seminars have no use. You cannot control the mind unless until you surrender to God. Because mind is energy of Lord. Indriyana manashasmi, bhutana masmi chetana. So how to control mind? By doing bhakti. By doing bhakti because he will control your mind. Suppose you are subservient to Lord because, oh my Lord, I am doing this thing, everything for you. So then God will control your control mind. You will think that, oh, my sister is, my mother is going. So you will not uh, think in an illicit way. So when you do this thing, if you can control uh, these uh, destructions, I'm 100% sure, not 10 to 20%, 100% sure, all success is guaranteed. Thank you very much.